I could bounce on while a nigga getting petrol, huh? 20 minutes calls from my ex, huh? Uh, if she coming back now, I hear the rest go. Her nigga, man, we activating the hood, nigga, come on, huh? Bounce on while a nigga getting petrol, huh? 20 minutes calls from my ex, huh? Uh, if she coming back now, I hear the rest go. Uh, satellite the message, hope these bitches get the message. nigga might bounce out if I hit the stain, you know it's all black. Bitch, you cannot fuck me if you do not lick the ball sack. Bad hoes calling on my phone, I do not call back. If you say you love me, say your soul, cause I need all that real shit. We don't play no games, this ain't no jamboree. We got real sticks that hit shit just like a Madden team. If you talking crazy, get him faded, now he missed the clean. If you ain't my nigga, then your bitch for girls, I tell the team. Yeah, she just wanna join the team, I know. Baby, say she really love the way I sing, I know. If I get her to the room, make her hit a high note. Hey everybody, this is a million one questions with their host being myself, and today I'm here with two special artists, King Garon and Golden Boy. What's up, y'all? How y'all been? Chillin', chillin', stand afloat. What's up, Wish? How you been? Been cool. How y'all, uh, 2022 20, been going? Four Shit. years in, four months in. It's progressive. Uh, How so? Um, kind of bullshit. It's a lot of, uh, getting to it. You feel me? I feel like I've been slacking. And, uh, I was surprised to find out like everybody that I fuck with feel like they've been slacking too, so everybody been moving forward. For, uh, for sure, for sure, he's been working. I think yeah, down there, everybody around just been face down to it, you feel me? I respect it. Now how y'all two met? Uh shit at the studio. Through Mr. Brett. Yeah. Dude, uh just breathe. Like we were all going to the same studio. Uh so you know you for me we were both booking so regularly at the time i was already like like interning there you for me so i was there damn near all day and i met all of them damn near the same time you don't know the truth <laughs> you don't know the truth what's up bro walked in to breathe the studio and brad sitting there on the games like he playing games and he's sitting there he like who is this nigga i'm like what so then they like, chill out, chill out, like, breathe, like, I'm sorry, y'all, like, then we go outside, we squabble up, shake hands, come back inside, and it's good. No, <laughs> no bro. Go, go the, the window? No, no, not quite, not quite. Damn near. These niggas just, you feel me, booking all the time. Yeah. I was interning at the time, so I was there all day. So, like, it was just a lot of, like, you feel me, seeing these niggas in passing, and then I really, like, sat in for a whole one of their sessions and then i think like the next day i went to a video for like one of their songs yeah. and it really was just kicking it with these niggas and i was like man these niggas cool man i, yeah. I, I, I fuck with these niggas these niggas cool and then yeah. you feel me just being around all the time like you feel me this you feel me something to be my nigga you feel me my shit uh, my man makes sense and g how, how you been since uh last year october so last time october. i met october Chilling, man. Progressive, like I said. It's been a lot of getting to it. Um, me and him, we've been working a lot together, working a lot separately. Like it's just been progressive, like I said. Uh, Breathe been pushing us. Right. Feel me, Mac been pushing me. Like everybody just been working towards the bigger picture. So for real, it's going crazy. That's good. And what do you guys like think about starting like the project royalty? Shit, like January last year, I want to say. Whose idea was it? Um, it was Breeds. He was like, bro, like y'all always like this dude just sitting in my sessions, bro. Like I got open verses, he getting on them. Like the songs are bangers. Like every time, like it's not like he doing it on accident. It's repetitive. So then we just like we got a tape now. We might as well put something out. And then Breeds was like, I produce it. You feel me? Like uh, it's good. Did you guys have like an idea of like what kind of vibe y'all was trying to get from it because uh, y'all worked before right kind yeah. of on the same song because so i know y'all we, were on we bounce, bounce worked, back or something like that yeah like we had worked on a couple songs so but at this point you feel me it was already like a lot of work together so we kind of had a general idea of like what we both would sound good on and what we both would not sound good on yeah. so you feel me it was like we had a general idea of like this is what is within the achievable sound basically so yeah. How'd y'all like build that chemistry? Or how long did it take? Uh, I think the whole project took what like I wanna say like four or five months. Yeah, four or five months. Yeah. It was a lot of like Did it take time to build that chemistry at first? Um, or any chemistry at all? 
Uh, during the beginning of last year, like, this nigga was out here all the time. So, <laughs> like, yeah, that shit happened quick. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Like, I was just out here every day. Like, I used to work at Tesla. So, I was out here before I go to work. And, like, what's up? Where you at? And, like, I'm out here chilling. Yeah, pull up on just be bullshit, like, every day. Go to the studio <laughs> before work type shit. He there, I'm there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so, been here the whole beginning part of, like, the time we first started making songs and shit together, like, we already were together, like, no, I stopped all the time, so. Okay. You feel me? It was just sure. happening. And what was the first song y'all got, y'all got done? Solo. First song we got, was it Solo? Yeah. Is Solo really the first song we got done? Yeah. That's crazy. Because Solo was really, like, hella early. Solo was probably the oldest song on me and his tape, like, like, stupid old. How old? Like, 2020? Yeah, like, I want to say, First three months of me being at that studio, at Breed Studio. Damn. Yeah, for sure. That shit was hella old. And it was like, it really was just like a, he was like, bruh, I got all the space on this song. Bro. You wanna hop on it? I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. You feel me? I'm here. I might as well. Type shit. I hop on it. We finish it. Both of us are listening to it. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie. This shit tough. <laughs> that shit is tough. That shit was hard, bro. I'm like, I was like, Cause like you feel me like he from he lived out here like I live you feel me to a lot type shit um all of my peoples I'm like bro y'all heard the the nigga that be at the studio the intern <laughs> bro like this nigga go crazy that's what I'm doing. like for sure oh for sure y'all 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 each got a favorite song off the project favorite song off the project or actually awesome. a favorite moment do you guys have a favorite moment from making it favorite moment from making it. That shit's crazy when you ask about moments, like, bruh, it just be like, we just be in the studio. Yeah, type shit. Like, for real, we do it so much, it's like, it's not even a moment no more. Like, we just in the studio it's making like, bangers. Like, yeah, we, type shit. You going crazy. Yeah, y'all be working. Yeah. Like, especially, I've seen, like, both your catalog. Y'all got, yeah. I didn't realize how many songs you had, G. For sure, I'm like, some shit on now. For um, sure, for sure. Yeah, y'all been working. So, uh, like, it really, it really makes it so it's just like, you feel me all the time. Like it just be like, damn. For like, sure. They really put some shit together today. You feel me? Yeah. We put some shit together today, type shit. Like, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, well, the song that got me dying is Cougar Anthem. Cougar First time Anthem. I heard that, I was like, yo. <laughs> that was a good moment. I read it back. I read it back. Cougar Anthem probably. What I, like about, what I love about the song is like, it's funny. It got bars. The beat, it, it's, it's a good song. It's yeah, like a yeah, fun song. Thank it's funny as fuck, but. That was definitely a moment, bro. Like, bro, I'm, I go to the studio, Gabe in the car, he like, or Golden in the car, edit that up. <laughs> 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 but Golden in the car, bro, he like, I'm about to make a beat. I'm like, what's up? What kind of beat, beat you gonna make? He like, what kind of beat you want? I'm like, nigga, I want to rap. Let me rap. Because yeah. I usually, I'm an R&B singer, low key, y'all. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga so low key. He started making a beat. I pull up my nose, bro. I started rapping in the car. He like, oh, he like, you got some road over. You about to go crazy, like, yeah, bro. He like, all right, bet. I'm gonna send the beat upstairs. You go record on it. I'm gonna be up there. Came up there, bro. Like, I'm recording, bro, for like that whole like second part. I'm like talking shit to this nigga, like <laughs> looking at him while I'm in the booth talking shit to him. He like. Bet, bet, bet. We during this live, like during the song? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit in the middle, like the in the, right in the middle of this nigga yeah, first, yeah, like yeah. the nigga really stopped rapping and he's looking out the window like, so all my bitches got to be age 35 up <laughs> <laughs> out the window and then go right back right, right, into right. it and then get right back into rapping. Like, you know, it, what, you know what funny is like, cause I've been at the studio since y'all working. That's literally how y'all work. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it like, it really just be like. You feel me? We just be in there cutting up. And <laughs> we be like, oh shit, it's, it's kind of tough. I ain't gonna lie. Did you guys have like a competitive edge against each other? Like every verse y'all did? Always. Always like. Cause I know with you, G, you like, you like to give it out. You to some folks. Like with the hook, sure. you give a good hook or not even just trying to like kill the whole beat, just trying to make the song sound good. Yeah, it's true. Was there like competitive like edge though on some of the songs? Yeah. It's always competitive. Yeah. It's my nigga, but like, he, my top competitor. To like, some degree, it's always like, like, you feel me, competition, like, uh, same yeah. shit, it's like, I know we both about to skate on this, yeah. but it's still always going to be like, hey, bro, but I'm, I'm fake way trying to, you feel me, skate yeah. tougher, like, yeah. <laughs> yes, and it don't even be in like a, a bad way type shit, it just be like, no, you're like, you might have got me on this one, bro, I ain't going to lie, 
For sure, it's never a bad way. Yeah, it's always like, what's that saying? Like, still sharp and still. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. If y'all niggas don't want to see you be better, then is that really your man? Yeah, that's how y'all are with the B3, too. You, know, you Mac, you know, it's like, when y'all was trying to find the best singer when it was you, Barry, Moni, Mac tried. Come on now, <laughs> bro. Like, we going to find our yeah, singer, yeah, yeah. but everybody going to try it at least. We going to push them. Yeah. Because there's no way you going to know, you feel me, if you not. I mean, that's damn near how the whole, like, the whole shit was really, like, yeah. Every song it was like, okay, what well, like whoever did the hook, they used the hook, and we like, all right, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to step, bro, because you yeah. just gotta go crazy. I think that's for sure what made it get close, <laughs> like right there, like breathe, like breathe, Megan Beast, like fuck it, y'all want to rap today? Yeah, like nigga, I can't let this nigga be drop a thirty-two ball on me. I was going crazy, and I sound like ass. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's true. I'm tired. Uh, Garon, where do you get your uh, work ethic from and your like outgoingness? Because something that me and Mag talked about in our last interview was you can talk to anybody. Like, so, um, I don't know. I just can't be scared. Like, fuck people gonna do not talk to you. It don't matter. They don't talk to you regardless. Yeah. But like, that's about it though. Like, just not scared. Fuck it. Put this shit up. Yeah. See what I get back. Golden, uh, since you've been like recording, making music, like, have you noticed you like to move? Like, um, either, if that's with like people you want to collab with or people you want to work with, production wise, or yeah, just overall, like, just when you create music, like, how do you like to move? Uh, it really just like, it really just depends. I feel like some people kind of be seeing me record and be like hectic a little bit, but it really just depends on like what I'm making for real, because. Like, you know, I also be like producing and helping produce a lot on like my own music. So, like, there could be a time that it's, you feel me, we're both doing a lot of like, I'll go in the booth, record something and come out, and then we'll kind of figure out what we want to do to it. Or, like, you feel me? Sometimes I even want to just be the only one there other than, you feel me, like, breathe and be, yeah. and not even want to come out the booth. I'll right. just sit there till the song is done, type shit. Like, yeah. that's so cool. It really, just, it really just depends. Like, let's you, where'd you get your work ethic from? Uh, I really, I don't even know, really. It's just like, it's got to get done, it's got to get done, nobody yeah. else going to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> if I want some shit done, I'm going to have to do it because nobody else is going to get it done better than I am. Yeah, true. And if they are, they lying. So, yeah. <laughs> like, Garon, how's it been like finding your sound? Finding my sound? Since last time we talked, I know all y'all was like, searching. I was still searching for it. Searching. I heard it coming. I knew it. Yeah, searching. So how's that been going, that process? Uh, it was smooth. It was, uh, it happened hella natural. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you feel me? The men, the people I got that helped me out with my music career, you, like, you feel me? I got Gabe right here, like, like, Mac. He like, nigga, keep, keep going, keep trying to sing and shit. That shit sounds good, like, you feel me? I like what you did over here. Then I got Breathe, like, Breathe, like, yeah, bro, like, Hey, you got this one song, like, you did something in the back. I like the way that shit sound. Like, nobody doing that, so you might want to keep it. Yeah. Like, so, you feel me? I got people telling me, like, this cool, this good, that shit go crazy. Like, off of me just being in the studio, just trying different shit out. And then, like, eventually it all lead up to, you feel me, an end result. I don't even think I'm at my end result yet. Dude, I still feel like you, you still moving. You still, sure, still, still, still moving. You still, still progressing, like you said. Everything been done lately, been progressing. Yeah, it just keeps going. Like, sounds like you got like a good circle around you too, when it comes to music. Um, whose idea was it to connect with uh, Kapala's engineer? I don't know if that's oh, that engineer. That's crazy. That was a coincidence. Uh, Not even going on. Like we wanted to go to LA. We wanted to record. Like, like me and him. We like. I mean, it take like a like a slight change of scenery type shit. You feel yeah, like fuck it. Let me go get out the area, bro. We tried to get breathe to come with us. He couldn't do it. That was all good. Um, so it was like, all right, we just gonna, like, you feel me? We not gonna go down there and just not get shit done at all. You feel me? So we're like, all right, we gonna figure it out. Like, tapped in with my man. My man Cam. He found a studio for me, and um, he was like, bro, like they got a cool producers. They got good producers over here. Like, go fuck with him. Like, all right, bet. Pulled up. Um, AB was there. That's the producer, and. Uh, yeah, we started working. We was in there with him for like, yeah, like ten hours. Ten hours? Uh, was it ten? Uh, 
He doesn't really be working. For sure, <laughs> bro. I'm like, fuck it. We were supposed to go to the club that night. I'm like, man. We was like the club, stay in the studio. The club, stay in the studio. Uh, my, man, my man's cam was like, he was like, bro, I know you want to come to the club, but think about what's best for you. I'm like, and we was I'm like, like right, we'll meet you niggas at the club in a couple hours. <laughs> how, much, how many like, tracks do y'all, y'all get done? How many tracks we got done? Fuck. Mm, like, damn near almost 10, huh? Yeah, for sure. It was 10. I knocked out some. BG knocked out some. Uh, he knocked out some. Yeah, I knocked out some. I was doing a lot of love. Yeah, my man Sparrow in there. He helped us out. He was going crazy, too. It was a good session. For sure. How'd you like session. working with like a new engineer or like new someone new in the days and breathe? Uh, like how was that first? I'm gonna let it go um, first. I'm gonna let it go first. Uh, it's always like weird because look, we be around like it's the it's the same thing. You feel me? Like as much as we be around each other, we be around our engineers. So like, there's a certain type of chemistry. Like you feel me with all of us and also like the engineer. So sometimes at first, like you, you get around a new engineer and try to work the same way that you were working at first. And that beginning is always going to be like, this is, I don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling. Like, just because it's, it's different, you know, like, this is a new person, so I don't really understand the way you work. So you got to kind of like gradually get into it. It was, it was cool. Like, it definitely was cool. Uh, you feel me? Interacting with new engineers, like working with new people. Because it's always good to like, you feel me, meet link up with and work with new people. Yeah. So, it's a good experience too. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> yeah, that shit, that shit is dope. Um, bro, so this is, what, this is what I got from it. This is what I gained on my, my musical journey. Like, every engineer comes with their own auto tune. You feel me? Like, each nigga understands, sure. each, each person, my bad, understands each, uh, each system differently. You feel me? Like, you don't play Call of Duty the same way I do, yeah. you play it differently. It's the same thing for engineers, like, they don't mix vocals the same way other people do, so, like, when you get in there, it's like grabbing somebody's controller and they play with different settings. Like, you gotta get used to it, you feel me? You gotta figure out how to adjust. That's actually a good way to put that. Yeah, for sure. So, um, AB, I was like, bro, the first song I did with him, that shit sounded so bad. I was like, this nigga probably thinks I'm ass as fuck. (laughs) And then I was like... I was like, all right, but the second song was like, let me hear it. It gave me a chance to feel out his auto tune and shit. Like, everybody got different settings, so really that's all it is. And working with, because that was Capallo's engineer, right? That he was working with that. Um, he, a lot of people's engineer. He did peso peso shit too, a couple of other people. I was saying Capallo because I remember the last time you were saying like this kind of an influence. Y'all do that like a little yeah, similar. Sure. So it kind of, but when you posted, I was like, that actually makes complete sense yeah, to good. work with someone. Like, even though obviously the stuff you've been making with Breeze sounds solid. Like, like you said, it's different. They they got their different options. They got different yeah, sounds. Yeah. It is different. Yeah. So I thought it was, like move. it was for so sure different. He got different tricks too. Like if you heard, he got different. Like he got different tricks for each person too. Yeah, like, elevate sure. too. It's like skipping. Like you feel me? I'm doubling words. Like, man, that nigga's crazy. He's a he works magic. Yeah. Breathe works his magic. Like you feel me? Yeah. It's like you feel me. Everybody could cook the same meal but that shit gonna taste different right? yeah. you feel me they're like they're so, gonna be good but they all gonna taste different like yeah. type shit great way to put it <laughs> G you like to do you prefer doing hooks or verses cause I know you you do be having like the fire hooks you be hooking everybody up <laughs> bruh um I like hooks bruh I like it I like hooks a lot I think I'm G Pain for sure come on bruh yeah. That's what I really be doing in there. But, uh, verse is cool, too. That nigga Breathe always gets a verse out of me. Always, bro. Mandatory. He like, fuck your hook, bro. Give me a verse. <laughs> Give me a verse now. Uh, Don't rap. <laughs> mandatory. So, Mac, Mac be like, what's up with the hook, cuz? Let me get a hook. Uh, Let me go crazy. That's, like, yeah. that's what I liked about Russian Cream. Like... I don't think you got a verse on that, but you, like I said, no you alley you, you add it, you give alley you to money, or money, yeah, money, money, and then you're obviously Mac. That's probably why I love it, is just how y'all all, because obviously money and Mac killed it, and then you on the hood. He's going crazy. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that studio such? So bad. Like Mac is yelling. But that studio <laughs> session was funny. That shit is crazy, man. That shit is crazy. Every studio session with Mac's funny as hell. He pull up, assess the situation. Figure out where he about to fit in. 
Then he wiggle off to his wig, go right soon, slide back. It's always one shot. Really? One shot out the bottle. Oh, shit. Just one. And then that nigga starts yelling. And then he's in the booth yelling, bro. <laughs> He's in that booth cussing out Bertha. That's what I call the mic. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. For sure, it's crazy though. I remember, like, I remember what you said. You said like when Mac rap, it sounds like it's like someone shooting you. Why are you yelling at you, bro? <laughs> every song too. Come on, bro. Like, every song you don't stop. Uh, sure. Golden, you be you do singing, you do both. Uh, or you prefer rapping. Uh. <clears throat> I be doing kind of both. I be doing a lot of both. Uh, I try to keep it like even, just because not even but like balance. You show me not everybody like. But I just I feel like not everybody wants to like hear me so hostile all the time. Yeah. So you know I try to mix it up. Yeah. And I, I actually really like to. I had to learn that though. Like I used to only just do like rap shit, but that's not really what I wanted to do all the time. I just didn't know how to go about making anything smoother than like you feel me my rap shit. Yeah. So it really took time where I really dedicated myself to just figuring out like, all right, bro, I'm gonna figure out like my own sound that's not just rap shit. Like I'm gonna figure out my own. You feel me? Like all the rest of these niggas got like a, a singing sound and like a rapping sound. I just only have one. Like I'm gonna figure my shit out. You yeah. feel me? Like, it takes time too. Yeah. It took me a little bit. Like I definitely put damn near a whole year into just that. Yeah. Because like, I just feel like with sounds of music, like I can only get so far with one like consistent sound of music. Like everybody wants to hear them saying like. You feel me? But eventually they were like, uh, yeah. you feel me? So I was like, I gotta, I gotta adjust. Like I gotta be more malleable to whatever song I'm getting on and shit. Yeah. And like, so how do you, how have you seen your sound develop since you started? Uh, shit, crazy. Uh, I used to be like a, I feel like a very like, timid artist. When I, especially when I first showed up, like at the studio, I felt like a very like timid artist. Very, like I, I was pronouncing any words, but I wasn't very loud, and a lot and then I started to I feel like I like to call it like growing into my voice I started growing into my voice more basically like as an artist mm. so I was more comfortable with it so I could kind of like get a feeling for more of what I could do and could not do sound wise yeah. and then gradually I started doing more like like singing type shit because I was like that's I want to be able to do that shit mm -hmm. so I started getting more into that and then that kind of adjusted like altered the way that I was rapping also so then it just gradually became more of like a well-rounded well -rounded sound. I didn't even feel like I had my own sound until like recently and they was just like, hey bro, you you giving us that, you feel me? That shit we need. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you feel me? I'm, I'm really Don't let this nigga lie to you. Learn shit. He be I'm singing. Learn shit. This nigga be singing, bro. Really. Don't let this nigga lie to you, bro. He be singing. I don't be singing. I be... I feel like almost everyone in that studio is like multi-talented. Sure. Cause even Mac tried to sing. I was sure. meant for that, but he, he said it did not go yeah, well. He said it didn't go well. <laughs> he said it didn't go well. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like it also is because like especially at that studio like everybody that comes through breathe is gonna at least like you feel me drop the bug in your ear like you're not gonna know until you try everybody to, loves try to sing yeah, yeah, everybody loves try to sing like, like I, I just seen the like hardest like niggas in there singing like trying to sing some shit like nigga it, yeah. come on now everybody wanna be an R&B singer if you yeah. rap you wanted to do R&B <laughs> yeah, nigga yeah. true and like even with breathe, I feel like that's a, it's like his encouragement of everybody. It seems like anyone he always gets because everybody's gonna bring up like, oh, uh, like it would be cool if I was singing on this, but I can't sing. Yeah. But that's always gonna be the nigga to be like, try it. Yeah. <laughs> like, but so you saying that, but like try it because you don't know that breathe is definitely the nigga say try it. No matter what, it could be you could say the craziest shit. And you're like try it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So, you feel me? Gee, I hit you recently talking about uh, your song trick. Trick, yeah, yeah, yeah you fucking with it. Talk, it's a hit. A song like that, how do you go about like marketing it? Not even just that song, but just any of your songs. How do you go about like pushing it? Bruh, Especially marketing. songs that like others have told you like, hey, this is the one, or this is this is a banger. But like, this is crazy. That's that's a question. That's a question that I really don't have an answer to because like, you feel me, I ain't did it yet. Yeah. But like right now, what I'm looking at is I definitely want to get visuals out. Like, you feel me? All the songs people tell me is bangers. Like, I want to get visuals for them so then they got something to look at, you feel me? Something to promote it. Um, that's all I can say for right now. Really just visuals and just promoting it. Just keep pushing it. Like, just make sure. I want to spend some more time on my uh, my songs. Like, you said I got a lot of music out. Like, just get some visuals up. 
I'll get some promotion, I'll get some shows out there. Like now, you feel me? I done did all the, that's like a lot of hard work, like in the studio late night, like putting shit out now. You need to do videos. You yeah. feel me? That's marketing. Yeah. I feel like I think in the last interview, same thing, Mac was saying like you're really good at networking. Like just like talking to people, spreading your own. I would assume, you know, re you know, pushing out your music, just putting people on. Um, so yes, I think, like you said, even though you don't want the answer right now, you still figure it out. For sure, yeah. figuring that shit out heavy right now. Yeah, but it's good. I mean, I, what I like is you still, you working towards making that quality music. So it's gonna match up once you got like, the whole- The, the marketing part, part design, It's gonna go crazy. Yeah, man. it's the hardest part. And uh, uh, Golden, I know you got some videos, right? I don't have any like videos on my own right now. That's one thing I'm definitely slacking on is like visuals. Uh, I got visuals of songs that I'm like featured on the show. Like, I have appeared in visuals, but I just don't have any on my own. Yeah. Mainly not even because I just haven't shot any. I've just shot videos. Yeah. I just like. I feel like at the time I was very very insistent on it being absolutely perfect, like exactly the way that I imagined it, and if it doesn't come out exactly that way like it, it, I'd be like damn right so then I'm trying to figure out like what's what's my my backup because something about shit not just not coming out exactly the way I wanted to so I'm like fuck I gotta just that shit be hurting yeah. I'm gonna be honest bro that shit hurts I mean, like with artists it's either it's either a sound that's just not it's just not coming or it's like aesthetically it just doesn't look yeah like, like what you do it don't, don't look aesthetic really be like both because I don't know, I'm not, I'm not like a, a, I'm not a, I don't work on visuals, you yeah. feel me? So, I can make a song and imagine the way that I want the visuals to look pairing with it, but sometimes certain shit is outside of, you feel me? Like, it just can't be acquired, whether it be, like, location or resources or, you feel me, like, resources, funds-wise, like, sometimes you just can't reach certain, like, certain shit, yeah. you're like, fuck, like, you feel me? That's just not exactly, and sometimes that's just shit you can't control. That's yeah. why I've been trying to work on it right now. It's like yeah. some shit I just can't control. I gotta just put it out. Visual, visuals are expensive. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's expensive. I gotta just put it out because it was like, yeah, I don't know. I just it was just strange. Like with the 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 visual for Ain't Free, it was like that wasn't even one that I had any control over. This nigga was like, I wanna do a visual for this one. Like we gonna do this. Fuck you. This and then we shooting it. Fuck you. That's it. We gonna shoot it. Whatever we get back, that's yeah. how it's rocking. So I was like, "Fuck!" Like this is isn't something I have control of. And I seen it, I was like, "Yeah, this is tough." I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's cool. I feel like it's always like that starting point and then trying to make that next one better. You know yeah. I mean? But if you never like started, yeah, even with sure. something small, like because obviously shit, visuals do get expensive. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but you know, starting something small and then you know progressing from there. That's the Great main thing shit. too. Is like, I be like, damn, I can't keep. It. Getting this shit remixed yeah. <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> I know both y'all were in the. Is it bounced up or bounce? Bounce back. Bounce, bounce back, back. That y'all did. That y'all y'all did visuals that too. Breathe. Y'all think y'all think y'all got everybody. Like on that, cause all y'all got a verse, right? Yeah, we yeah. did yeah. a verse. Uh, everybody was scared. Oh, when like, you talk about a competition, that. like that was the one. Yeah, yeah that, that's, 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 that's 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 right the one. video, the beat, everything. That's like, the one. That right song right there was that was. There was like five of We was on, yeah. We was on the studio, like bro. When I say Bree, Bree told everybody like his favorite favorite clients, not really his favorite clients. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the other clients, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, his favorite clients, like you feel me? People he know gonna come through and work, like. No, nah, not his favorites, but you feel me, workhorses, like yeah. niggas that spend money with him every week, because that's what we was doing at the time, everybody in there every weekend, every week. It was like, yeah, it was dinner, everybody was in there every week. It happened so much, we started running into each other, like, oh, yeah. what's up, like, yeah. oh, you, that's what you is, like, what's good, what you sound like? Because like, you feel me, you be around a lot, you start hearing about other artists, you be like, bro, this nigga going crazy, like, and then you feel me, the way it would work out, you could be like, this nigga going crazy, like, I'm trying to meet this nigga and work with this nigga now, like, he walks out the studio. Later, the you walking way. out the studio and they walk in. You'd be like, "Hey, bro!" And usually at the same time, they'd be like, "Hey, bro, I've yeah. been trying, to, I've been trying to reach you." Type shit. So yeah. you basically got all them. Breathe is a puppet master, bro. Yeah, that's really, <laughs> that's really what's been going on. I think he's a puppet master. Um, he found some nice, he found some nice people for us to be on a song with, and he made the beat. And he was like, "Weakest verse gets taken off." Damn, not everybody. Like, that's cold. That's, <laughs> but it's like yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a good one. Like, like, everybody that's go a good crazy. That's, yeah. He like nigga, that's fun. weak verses get cut off this shit instantly. He like, yeah. I was like, fuck it, I'm not making a verse. <laughs> 
Then this nigga walking there. He like, he like, you got the mic set up? I'm like, give I'm me. Right now. I'm like, give me next. Give me next after him, cause Malcolm. Where I play? <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Word play, word play is in the booth. He's in the booth rapping because he was before me. I'm just like, just let me go next. Let me go next. And let me in. Great time. For sure. What the fuck going? Yeah, man. Come on now. That's that, 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 that shit was real competitive, though, bro. That shit was hella competitive. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Like, Breathe had to be playing everybody in the room, like just standing over the and computer. It was, like, it was like 12, 14 of us in there. We like, bro, we can write verses. Write verses, fuck it. Let's see, let's see who has the best verse. Uh, I said, that shit came out fire. Sure. Every verse on there was fire, though. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Like, this verse that got cut off, that was cool. Yeah, no cut. They didn't need to be cut. It was going crazy, for sure. There was definitely verses that got cut off that it was like, they're fire. It's really just, like, the song can't be too long. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like y'all are really in, like, really good, healthy environment for yeah. your, like, musical passions. For that's sure, why I like sure. hearing about like y'all and what y'all saying about Breathe and like even the studio and every y'all, everyone y'all have worked with. Cause it sounds like it's more than just B3 obviously. It's everyone else y'all mentioned. I know I know a couple other artists from there. Yeah. It is. I'm, like what I'm hearing. But Puppet Master, he put so many different collectives together and made shit crazy. Yeah. Like, that's really what happened. It's no. just a bunch of groups of different niggas that just work well in yeah, one man. large group. Like, Down for us. Ready to B3, then you got Breathe, he has artists, you feel me, Moni? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. And what do you what do you like working about most with Moni, Mac, and uh, Barry? Moni, Mac, and Barry? Um, G, Mr. 3 5. Bro, those really like, like those, them three niggas right there, those like late night, like we upstairs in my room yelling at a fucking mic, like four in the morning, bro. Like, Feel me in the closet, like, that's why that shit be so fun working with them three. Like, you feel me, like, I remember when our quality was ass, nigga, we were still making hits, you feel me? We making bangers in the in the room. So anytime I get song with them three niggas, this shit, fun as fuck, always going crazy. Wrong two. So, and Golden, how, uh, how are you hoping your 2022, like, ends? Uh, like, music, like, you have an end goal for the year, music-wise. For the year, yeah, uh, I definitely got like, you know, pretty pretty soon I got like project lined up. Um, He's dropping a project this year, bro. If I have to beat him, if I have to beat him to get it out yeah, of him, bro, I will do it. I'm a, I'm a actually like I'm gonna drop another project this year, but I'm definitely focusing on visuals, like, cause I just don't have no visuals up, and I just feel like I'm I'm behind on having visuals up, so I'm definitely gonna focus on. It. I want to at least get two out before the end of the year. That'd be solid, yeah. Yeah, because I have none right now, so it's like I'm I'm playing catch up on them. Mm-hmm. So I want to have at least two out before the end of the year. That yeah. way, I I'm getting a little bit more traction. Yeah. And I even see through even like your choice of like catalog, which you like even with covers. Like you do get pretty creative with the covers. So I can just imagine like what a visual would look like. Yeah, that's so, yeah. that's another thing too. Like I want it to match. I want my visual to be perfectly in sync with. The cover, the sound, like everything about it. Yeah. So hopefully, my my goal, not even hopefully, I'm gonna have two, at least two visuals up, yeah. like by the end of the year, for yeah, sure. For sure. Put there. What about you, G? Um, for this year, let's get again, please. <laughs> no, no, what's your what's your end goal? What's your goal? What's your goal with music for twenty twenty two? No, I'm fucking with you. Alright, yeah. Um, my goal for real, um, it's just to just to progress. I'm not gonna lie, right now, like you feel me? I feel like shit going very very smooth. Like, um, that's crazy. Like, I get asked this question. I seen my cousin posted Nipsey the other day. Like, he'd been doing music for a minute. OJSF. And, um, like, bro, like, it just reminds you, like, it's a marathon, like, you feel me? It take a minute to get there. So, whatever you're doing, just keep building it. So, my goal really just, just keep going, just keep that shit moving like I've been doing it, really just put some visuals out. I want a visual from everything off, off my newest tape, and I still want some visuals from royal, royalty, like, like, that definitely needs more visuals. Hotel room needs a visual. 
Like, sure, for sure. You done good. You done. I feel like you do. You be having fun with your visuals. What's that one song? I think it was on the beach or something. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's for Bree. That, that was for Bree. That was that's for Bree with, with, with sure. these niggas too. Yeah, for sure. That's that's really how he started fucking with us. Like, Bree was like, "Yeah, my intern gonna come. It's good." Like, yeah, they bring that nigga. <laughs> he drink, but come on, bring him. But yeah, for sure. Like, visuals bro, created. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This bitch was I probably would never be able to make happen. Like, mm-hmm. shit just so outlandish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, but fuck it. We're gonna make him happen. Nah, yeah. I mean, you still doing good work, anyways. Come on now. Yeah. Y'all got anything else y'all wanna share? Um, anything else I wanna share? Or even just like, shout out, put out. I do have something to share, bro. I'm officially the best singer of V3E now. We're a year and some change after, bro. I'm fucking claiming it. Like, fuck everybody. Else. I'm claiming it, bro. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm be honest. I was just thinking about that before the interview. I was like, since the, since October, I would have to say right now, I, you, you got a G. I'd have to say, the, I see my... Like got the fucking up. cameras, Barry. About to get beat up with all your <laughs> Y'all about to make BG act up. Yes, yes, yes. Nah. I really am. Yes, I got I'm one more announcement. Yeah. Make sure y'all go fuck with the newest tape. Just dropped. Royalty is out. That dropped in December. I can't guarantee. Do not forget that. Go to boy all platforms. And Crown is out. All platforms. All platforms. King Garon. Crown. Heavy visuals for Crown. Bro, that damn near should have been royalty too. Man. Crown. Yeah, bro. He was on damn near everything. That's true. Type shit. Okay. That's how that's how much he be in like he just be in my sessions like. And I'm thinking about now that y'all actually like painting that picture of like how much y'all see each other, I'm like, no wonder y'all got mad songs. Yeah. The last song yeah. is the best yeah. nigga always there. Yeah. Always ready to rap too, like. Never turn it down. Never turn it down. What about you, Golden? Or you got anything on here you got anything, uh, anything you want to end off with? They like Castaway. Oh, all platforms. Royalty, all platforms, King Garon, Golden Boy. Uh, we got big work coming for y'all soon. Sure. Royalty Same 2. Goes. Visuals, Royalty 2, visuals. Sure. Stay tuned. We're about mm-hmm. to go crazy. Yeah. Just rock with us. For sure. Appreciate y'all coming. Yeah. Appreciate you for having us forever. Uh, for you. Fuck with us. Appreciate that. Yeah. For sure. See ya.